If you didn't know it, today is National Snack Day, and if you normally head to your freezer for something sweet to snack on, you're going to want to sink your teeth into tonight's Taste with Tori. Tori joins us from home to tell us more about the sweet treats from the Weldon Soda Fountain in Glenside. Hi, Tori. Hey, Jess. A uh, really quick question. Are you the type of person when you order ice cream, do you get the same thing every time, or do you switch it up? Oh, no. I switch it up. Oh, I like Life's that. too short okay. for the same thing. That's what I'm talking about. Jess, that is the right idea because if you have that idea, it's time to head over to Glenside to the Weldon because they are wildly imaginative. And speaking of wild, 2020 was wild, but this ice cream shop has thrived because they imagined themselves living their dream. And now they are. Take a look. to go back to my backyard. I can't wipe the smile off of my face. This may be permanent. When last summer, all the ice cream I could wish for in the most glorious of concoctions was delivered right to my door by the Weldon Soda Fountain in Glenside. The peanut butter and fluff ice cream, I could cry. From their ice cream takeout nachos to s'mores ice cream pie. The blistered marshmallows, nutso. The chocolate ice cream, it's the perfect cocoa flavor. It's not too sweet, it's just divine. The Graham marshmallow surprise in the center. To their pina colada sundae. Oh, it's like I can feel the sea breeze. This butter rum sauce in here is insane. I can taste a little bit of salt, but the sweetness is just heaven. It was all just so joyous and exciting. Wildly imaginative and wildly delicious. That is the Weldon. Should trademark that. And it turns out when I went back to visit the Weldon just recently, and yes, I've mashed my mask to the point. Things were getting even more exciting for owners Benny and Rachel. Oh my gosh, so we get to make our own ice cream now and come up with all the flavors we ever dreamed of making um, and really take a lot from our customers. I think that's the best part. Did you think that that would even be possible during this time of COVID? Making our own ice cream was always the long-term goal, but we thought three, four years will We'll get to that point. Our hand were forced and it was a blessing. There's no excuses. Talk about the ultimate excuse of world pandemic. You can't let any excuse stop you from following your dreams. We put everything into it. Absolutely everything we have, every moment. And you work really hard to fulfill that dream because you love it. It's a lot of fun. And our community is great too and incredibly supportive through all of this. We couldn't do it without them. And we sure. Thank you. For not giving up and backing down. The walls should be padded. So we all can enjoy your thin mint milkshake. The mint is like breathing in fresh snow. Sweet and creamy. You're chomping on chocolate. Really nice choice with the extra wide straw, by the way. Gotta get the chips. Very smart. Very smart. I swear that thin mint milkshake was like, you know those punching bags when you punch it, it pops back? So it was like every single time I was like <laughs> taking a sip, I was like bouncing back and forth. Mm. It was absolutely not so and Jess you know what I find the coolest about this story aside from the ice cream tell me Do you see what I did there yeah <laughs> here's the coolest part you know all of these restaurants and small businesses they're so proud to give you a scoop of themselves so how awesome that not only have they pivoted during COVID, have been successful during COVID, and they're scooping a piece of themselves that's 100% them and giving it to you. That is cool. Go to the Weldon. Let's get wild. Right, Jess? <laughs> Thank you for the inside scoop tour. I see what you did there, Jess. Nice. I did there. Nice. I just played off of you. Thank you. I like it. All right. I like we'll have it. have to check that place out. Thank you. <laughs>